Well, it's Tuesday night at the NSC in Douglas, and of course, that is one thing. You, you know it. If you're a cyclist uh, over the years, you'll know Dr. Tilbury, MBE, is down here, RL360, and the many guys they've had over the years, they're still with you, and I know that's what we're here to find out more about tonight. Well, it's the first night after the last lockdown, <laughs> and we've managed to get going, thanks to everybody and hard work to keep the island clear, and uh, it's very exciting. We've already got over 200 riders signed on, and there'll be more tonight, and we've got racing from balance bikes to stabilizers up to mountain bikes and then up to the droppies class where the real class are when they come through and race across i've got pictures i don't know how many years have been coming down but we'll run some pictures to show people what they they're doing in fact some of these pictures these people might be grown ups by now and that's what's happened hasn't it you followed they've them had, right through they've had babies <laughs> oh yes there's lots of them had i meet them out with their babies but it all started down here with the nsc when the swimming pool was built the marvelous sports complex here and um, previously to that there used to be a an outdoor track here and Ron Killia, one of the, and, a, and a, his band of merry men, used to take people like Steve Jock of the cycling and that, you know, the wonderful ear of John Purvis, etc. And um, then it stopped. Nobody was doing children's cycling. And when this was built, um, some wise men from the Cycling Association said, I think you should reinstate the track around the NSC. And John Purvis and Alex Forrest came down, um, went to the CA and said, we should do these children's races but nobody was interested in organizing them so they did and here dotty went down to help and it was great and we had 14 children to start off with and we had so few children ranging from about five years to 16 so of course they couldn't race against each other so we used to do like fancy dress races we used to have dad's race and anything went just to fill the night we used to have Le Mans start where they all laid on the track and then they had to run for their bikes wow. and it was real fun just with these 14 riders mm. Um, sadly Alex died and he's so terribly missed because he loved the kids and John started his business and I said oh I said I'll take it over there's only 14 kids can't be that hard <laughs> and, and move on a few years is, the rest yeah. is history yeah. and um, whilst we were in sort of our infancy um, Scottish Provident one of the ladies there her children rode and she said oh I'll ask Scottish Provident to see if they'll sponsor us and we got a cheque and it was £500 and it was like wow. I thought we were millionaires. And we started going away with the kids and winning races and et cetera, et cetera. And then, of course, um, a young man called Mark Cavendish joined when he was nine. What ever happened to that, that lad? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're very proud of yeah. Mark, of course, world champion. And mm. he came through, you know, yeah. BMX and, and down here and all the things that he did on the island and... Um, it's just marvellous and all the cyclists that are out at this very moment Mark Christian is in the Giro d'Italia with you know the way it's just amazing Anna Christian and Amelia Sharp were in um, a big race and um, you know there's Matthew I, I won't name them no, all because there's do you so see many. the potential at this age do you see it or is it one of those things that just you go, wow, I didn't expect that from them. Uh, well, Mark Cavendish and Christian Varley were of the same era and they used to lap the field down here. Mm. Um, and um, history has it that Mark said to his mum, if you buy me a mountain bike, I'll win this. Mm. So he bought a mountain bike because he was on his BMX bike mm. and then he won it, you know. And um, But he was very, very... Um, he, he didn't like to come third. That was no use. He had to come first. Which That's what uh, makes you a winner. Makes it's the yeah. difference. Um, and you. yeah, he was just phenomenal. And he's very good at chess, so he knows the tactics. Mm. He's got this terrific sprint. Mm. And then, um, of course, he's come back from this sort of like a glandular fever type illness. And he started winning again, yeah. and it's just marvellous for him because he wouldn't have gone out on a low note. Yeah. Let's talk about what you do down here, though. I mean, how many people now go through your system as such? I mean, it's massive amount of people. How many? Any idea? Well, massive. Uh, it would be interesting, actually, to count up the numbers, but it will be long thousands yeah. that have come through here. In a year, in a good year, when Mark Cavendish won the World Championships, we had... 600 children signed on it's nearly 600 children 
and that was all down to Mark and Peter Kenyuk, of course, who won the Olympic gold medal in the team time trial. How has it affected you with the lockdowns? I mean, obviously the obvious stuff, but I guess you haven't been away, have you, are there? No, we haven't been away. We haven't done anything. It's been full lockdown. Um, the keen children have continued to ride alone and train and do indoor training on their um, fancy bikes and everything. But we've not been away, but I have made plans that we, once the lockdown is over we'll start doing the British rounds again and the national championships hopefully and the Northwest champs and the time trials and hopefully we could start getting back to what we did years ago. Um, and this all costs, and we, I suppose we should bring in our old 360, I think they give you a check for something soon aren't they? They do <laughs> yes we look forward to receiving it we, we've been with um, we had our 25th anniversary with them last year and we've just had such a good relationship with them and they're fully supportive and they do lots on their social media pages about, you know, they're very proud of being associated for so long and uh, we look after each other, you know, we make sure we look after them and they look after us and it's yeah. just great and, um, you know, we're very proud to be with our L360 and we've got a super kit which was designed actually by Des Clegg from International Cycling Week and we've still got that same kit and when we go away everybody says oh I love your kit from the Isle of Man you know it's red and yellow and um, it's really good so you know yeah. And over there is the St John's people. They're down here to look after yeah. all. Of it's so I know so much organisation, but honestly, brilliant to you. And I have to say, really, part of our life is Dr Tilbury. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank like you an award or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is an award, and people say, "Why do you keep doing it?" And it's just that I love it so much. And when it's not, you know, the minute I stop not liking what yeah. I'm doing, then it'll be time for somebody else to take over. But. Um, you know, and probably everything will change, but, you know, with each year is new beginnings. So um, at the moment, I'm still, you know, it's great to see all the kids and um, the parents, when if their children take it seriously and they start coming away, they're gutted when their kids are too old yeah. because it's their social life. You know, we go away on trips and um, we, we try and have fun. You know, um, we really do. We, we go to Ireland, we go all over to Wales, down to London, everywhere, up to Scotland. Um, and it's just great fun, you know. We hire minibuses and vans and, you know. The stories you could tell. But I we'll can't. leave it there. We'll leave it for now. You better get going. You've got things to yes. do. Yes. Dr. Yes. Tilbury, she's in, in, in one place all for, um, what, 10 minutes there? That's amazing. Yeah. That's a first. Okay, Bye. thanks, Paul. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Bye. <laughs>